One, two, three, four. Hey, there it is. Two, two. <laughs> Shout out to Toto and Yuji. Yep. My brother! <laughs> <laughs> all right based off the screenshot that i sent you earlier you can only pick five animes oh yes yes okay first off hold on i'm gonna put it on screen for everybody so so you guys can see it um that's the exact screenshot that uh that ratu sent me first off uh the person that that, (laughs) that circled these three anime doesn't fucking watch anime. They don't. They really don't. They're fucking. They're they're trying to be cool and fit in. They don't fucking watch anime. Okay, it's Naruto, Dragon Ball, and Pokemon. Pokemon. There's no fucking way. No, this is this is someone who wants to fit in with the crowd. You had you had the ch- the choice to pick five, five, and you pick three. There are some bangers on this goddamn list. Bangers. I wouldn't bang her, but it's bangers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> banger, I hardly banger. know her. <laughs> banger, I hardly know her. Flicker, I hardly know her. But this is someone who who saw Pokemon on on fucking Kids WB and Yo. watched Toonami the afternoon block. Okay? The, just gotta say that. Now, with that out of the way. Let's go. Let's go one v one. You do one. I'll do one. You do one. I do one. Okay. And if we if we happen to pick the same one, we'll just we'll we'll just both add it to the list. Have, okay. 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 Um, so you go first. You brought up the list. Brought up the list. Yep. Okay. Um, I would have to go with, of course, Naruto. That'd Valid. be my top one because that's what got me into the whole like. Okay. That's what, Naruto got you an anime. Yeah, that was like the first like full fledged anime that I actually watched and oh, finished all the way through. All the way through. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Okay. And then that made me be like, okay, I could watch another one. I just don't know which 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 one it would be. Yeah, yeah, that's valid. I mean, Dragon Ball does somewhat along that line of anime. Yeah, you See, know, it's tough to say. Dragon Ball, <clears throat> even though it is an anime for me, I consider it to be, you know, more of a cartoon because it was, it was um, a part of like. I'd say in our in our era of growing up, the average one of the average shows that kids our age would, would watch. Yeah. Because it was playing on Cartoon Network every day. <clears throat> and every Friday there was a new episode. Yeah. So that shit was dope as hell. But I would say Naruto is my number one. That's my go to. Yep. I mean I got the Naruto board, I got a whole bunch of Naruto stuff. Um the Naruto one is up top. You don't see it behind Ratu, but he has a yeah, he has right here Naruto somewhere. one up there. But yeah, no, I mean, I think oh, oh. yeah, I got the tattoo. Oh, he got a t- <laughs> you just can't hold one second. Let me show you my leg real quick. Ooh, watch it up. Bam! <laughs> what the hell just happened? I lost balls. Je- Jesus Christ! <laughs> You knocked over the whole shelf. We need to bolt those down. <laughs> Let me see, man. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Better than Rock Lee. I can't. I can't. Open, open in, open in his inner gates. But no, I, I would say Naruto was one of the first animes that I watched all the way through. But during a time where I was becoming more conscious about conscious, con- conscious stories. Because, yeah, like, the thing about like Dragon Ball was that like it's a lot of action and that's dope. Like we like seeing that, especially like us being like boys. Like we like seeing like like fights and stuff. But I it was the story itself wasn't very I don't want to say it was shit because it, it's still a good story. Yeah. But it wasn't as diverse, it wasn't as like flushed out as something like Naruto, where Naruto, a lot of people consider Naruto to have having a lot of main characters, uh, but it it grew a really big diversity between between the main characters, right? Three main characters: Sakura, and Naruto, Sasuke. Why did I say Sakura first? What the fuck, fuck, stupid. Anyways, but you know that's the that's the main cast though with. Uh, 
Kakashi, Naruto obviously being the main character, but then you have the other characters, Shikamaru, Neji, um, Choji, uh, Rock Lee, uh, you know, every everyone pretty much of um of that generation. I forgot what they call it. Um the Hokage, uh, not the Hokage, the, the Konoha something. Kona 12 or something? I forget. But all everyone that was in that generation of Jonin that 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 went <coughs> with them. Right? But then um I would say it had some of the most impactful deaths Oof. in a story. Oof. Because in Dragon Ball, the Dra- the Dragon Ball series, the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, uh, all of it, right? Uh, when someone dies, you still see them. They get wished back, regardless if they, you, regardless if they don't get wished back. You still see them. Yeah, you do still see them. They like, up there. Yeah, yeah they they chilling with fucking uh, Kai, yeah. King Kai, <laughs> and they're around. Yeah. So like them dying, I'm just like, oh, like I remember the first time, like I think uh, Goku died. I was kind of sad. Oh, valid. I was oh, just yeah. like, oh, oh you man, think, damn, he's dead. Yeah. Gohan, you're gonna have to pick up the, you're gonna have to pick up the man. Yeah. Like you gotta go avenge your father. <laughs> this guy was still on. Yo, for- <laughs> uncle just, just fucking. <laughs> he said, "I'm still the main character. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking yeah. about. <laughs> Kill me off. I'm still around." <laughs> it's best. But yeah, Naruto. It's like the first death. Was the third Hokage? Yeah, that really <clears throat> changed that guy, the tone. That guy was old as shit too. No, yeah, he was old, but it's crazy. It's crazy to think because do you remember that that whole scene where uh, Orochimaru in the Sound Village, yeah, like invaded and like he resurrected. He resurrected the first, second, and was going to be the fourth Hokage. He stopped the fourth Hokage from coming up because he was like the fourth Hokage is goaded. No. But he had to deal with the first and second Hokage by himself. Boy had hands. 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 With it with his monkey staff boy. <laughs> Let me t- it don't matter. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boy had hands. And like after that, it set it, it because there was the mourning process. You know, they went to the funeral. Everyone's crying, sad. There's like a layer of of emotions that at the time I wasn't very familiar with. Now, I'm not saying that I didn't watch like shows and stuff yeah. or movies that, that didn't have an impact with death. But for an anime specifically, that was the first one that I really did connect with. Um, even though, again, I used to watch um, Roroni Kenshin, Dragon Ball Z, Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, pretty much everything, again, on the on the anime block on Cartoon Network. Um, but then, I mean, I didn't get, I didn't have access to the internet until like 2007, so. <laughs> um, so I didn't have the chance to explore anime, but I would say Naruto definitely is number one for me. Naruto for sure. Yeah, what's so, number, what's your second one? So, so we're both going for Naruto number one. Yep. Okay. So my second pick. Now this isn't rated in a way. No. Yeah. Yeah. We're but just, we're just not non-random order. Naruto for me personally, I would say number one at least top three. Yeah. Okay. But next one on the list is gonna be an oldie that you got into in the past couple of years. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist changed the way that I saw anime as a whole. Mm. Now what I just said about Naruto being being really um like emotional and very complex, this there was a level there was a deep level of intellect that a lot of kids, especially when Full Metal, the original anime of Full Metal Alchemist was playing on Adult Swim super late at night, early in the morning, where I didn't really understand the story. But <clears throat> See, now you watch Brotherhood, and for all you guys out there that are watching, I know you guys watch Brotherhood too, and a lot of people say Brotherhood is the GOAT. No. And I agree, 100%. I love the story. It follows the manga. That's the actual story. I like the original anime uh, as well. The original anime, that story was, I personally think, darker. Mm-hmm. Darker than uh, Brotherhood, which, which really, uh, which is... When I watched Full Metal Alchemist uh, 
the original anime, Brotherhood started releasing every week. And it was only like two, three episodes out. You watch the first two episodes, first two, three episodes of of uh, Brotherhood and Full Metal Alchemist, the original anime, they um, they feel like the same show. But after that, like, once it gets like the, the fourth or fifth episode, mm-hmm. it's you can see it <clears throat> veer off a, like a good distance. You can see them going on their completely separate paths. And that is one where death happens quite often. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there ain't no coming back. But not only that, it it goes into almost a religious aspect of it because you know they're you know they talk about God, yeah, yeah, you know trying to you know um you know human transmutation trying to bring someone back from the dead and you know the world of science alchemy yada yada. So it it really is like like it really makes you kind of question things that that some people think about like man. Like if someone you love died, would you try to bring them back? Like it, it, it was very dark, very complex, and the level of um, uh, story writing for both of them, I think, is top tier. So definitely uh, number two for me. Uh, the second choice that I'm picking is going to be Full Metal Alchemist. Both of them. But what about you? What's your next pick? Speaking of deaths, uh, mine would be Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan for number two. Number two. Now, Attack on Titan is goaded as well. It's, I'll never forget when I first watched like the first couple episodes mm-hmm. of the first episode. I forgot what it was, but I got hyped off of somebody. And then I remember I texted Dalton Dom and then Dalton was like, don't get too attached. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why? <laughs> why? They gave him a good bit of screen time. He good. And boy, oh boy, <laughs> speaking of never coming back. <laughs> Who was, it? who was it? I forgot who it was, but it was like one of the first like few episodes where I was just like, I think I was just more on the mortified end of people just dying. No, it was gory. It was. It was definitely. And I was gory. just like, this is wild. Mm-hmm. See, back in the day, there was a level of gore that was accepted. Nowadays, yeah, they don't care. They're yeah, they spill your guts. Out. Yeah, draw draw every little detail. They'll show your heart beating. In some scenes, like, yep. like they show that shit. It's crazy. But Attack on Titan would be on my my list. So, so why did it draw you in? I think once again, I think it was like the storyline as well, the twists and turns, plot twists. I still didn't watch the last episode because there was the delay. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I watched the end of the season where where colossal Aaron Yeager is leading the the stampede of other colossal yeah Titans. yeah yeah the rumbling and, yeah and and uh what are they called the yeah the rumbling yeah yeah um and that's where it ended for me so I know I've seen a, a couple of sneak peeks of the last episode I do need to watch I should probably watch it today but um I do know like like that really set set a higher level for everyone uh that watched it because as of right now, I do, I do like Attack on Titan, but the way it ended for me so far is very, very subpar. Mm-hmm. I was like, it, it, it kind of left on a cliffhanger. Oh. I would say if you if <clears throat> this last episode of Attack on Titan, if it was literally released when it was supposed to be released, I think it would hit harder. It did hit hard for me. But it would it would have hit harder for sure because yeah. of just you being connected with all the characters. Yeah, I I understand that. But I just picked the talk. I'm a I I have a very basic list because I didn't watch a lot of anime growing up. I only got into it again recently. Once again, Naruto is like technically my first anime, yeah. and I just never had. I wouldn't say the time. I I guess the attention span to watch any other anime after that. So as of recent, like the past couple of years, like this list that I watched, I'll tell you right now is just what I just watched recently. But Attack on Titan is what made me get to watching anime again because it was just like the writing of it the plot the the plot the twists and turns i i'll give it that so that would be on my list attack on titan i get you no, i get that i mean off of this list how many have you watched like i guess i had a good handful which is yeah. gonna be the five that i pick <laughs> that's fine that's fine because okay now coming into number three though this is this is really rough for me because uh, so I have an article at Full Metal Alchemist. There are a lot of anime on here that are 
really good. Mm-hmm. That are really good. Um, and I'm debating, man. I really debating, so I don't know if I have one off the list. For, uh, for number three, you know what? I'm going to choose One Piece. Ooh. Now, I don't know how far along you were able to watch One Piece, my boy. This man is trying to fix his his fucking thing. <laughs> I need more keys to get, get oh. dust bunny. Oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> um, um, I have a confession to make. I have never watched One Piece. Okay, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but see, here's the thing. One Piece started playing on um, on uh, Cartoon Network during yep. Tsunami mm-hmm. a while ago as well. And during that time, like I was into it, but I, but I never got fully drawn into it. And um, there was always the debate. Do you know the the anime Big Three? Yes, Big Three is uh, Dragon Ball, Naruto, and One Piece. Yeah, yeah, like those are the big. And I remember One Piece would, all, and every time like it would show up on like Cartoon Network and Tsunami, every time it would pop up, it would be those three. It would be yeah. One Piece, Naruto, and Dragon Ball. Yeah, but then I was always only interested in. Dragon Ball and mm-hmm. Naruto. Exactly. And I'd be like, ah, no, it's all good with One Piece. Yeah. Even though it did look very intriguing to me at that time, yep. but I just just wasn't in me. I mean, here's the thing, though. Because for, like, the pirate fantasy type thing, we had we had Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> like, yeah, like, it's definitely not the same. But we had something to fill yeah, yeah, yeah. that niche fantasy role, right? <laughs> but... Um, last year or the year before, I started watching uh, One Piece. Oh, okay, and I got up to episode like eight hundred, and I've, I've I postponed it since then. Uh, but I will say, it is next level yeah. story writing. Like the man's the the creator. I forget his name. I apologize, but it is so good and i understand why a lot of people choose it over naruto mm-hmm. for me it is very good it is close yeah i think for me personally i love naruto more but the way because to the anime there aren't any fillers there's a couple of filler episodes for like a, like a holiday special or something yeah, yeah, yeah. but everything is canon yeah. to the story <clears throat> so even when it seems dull and dead and like what the fuck is going on that small, seemingly insignificant part ties into a bigger story later. That's why, like, I think it, it turned me on. Oh, turned me off was like when I wanted to watch it. <laughs> they were like, "Oh, there's not a lot of filler episodes." Like, yeah, it's that's long a lot too. of episodes. We're over a thousand on. episodes. That's what I'm saying. It's like, ah, damn it. like I was hoping like maybe two hundred. Yeah. Of, let's put that under the dumb, you know, under the thousand, and then they were like, "No, that's it's that's all the episodes." Like, oh, well, what's really man. crazy is I think last year, the year before. The uh, the creator of One Piece, he was like, I haven't even got started. I was like, my boy, you've been doing it for a couple of decades. <laughs> but knowing where I am at now in the story, it's right after the No Flamingo uh, arc. Ah, okay, okay. It's fu- yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you. <laughs> yeah, 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 Flamingos, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, hands down. It's it's got to your writing, and if you ever find the opportunity to, I would say the first the first season is relatively slow. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's most that's most like shows, anyways. See, nowadays though, they're they're yeah, yeah, yeah. Anime's first episode coming hot. Yeah, really. Cool. Which I get it. Yeah, yeah. But like, but I I feel like for the era shows in the era, they had to be like yeah. had to be slow. Let's they had to extend it. Let's create a story. Let's create like. Yeah. No, but it does give origin. more time to flush out a story. Yeah, yeah. And let me tell you, that story is fucking full house, my boy. It is. It is Jesse Tanner fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Olsen twins. It's all of them. Uncle Joey. <laughs> yeah, Joey. Uh, it's all of them in the house, bro. It's crazy. It's good. I understand it. Which is why I'm choosing uh, One Piece as number three. Or as my third one. Okay. So mine was Naruto from uh, at, at Attack on Titan. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, I see. I didn't watch a good handful. I mean, I watched only a handful of these, and but they're still good. I think I can predict your number three. It's, it's good. 
Knowing what you have watched. Jujutsu Kaisen. I knew it. I fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, after I think, yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen. Once again, shout out to L because I remember he's the one that introduced Jujutsu Kaisen to all of us. Oh, yeah. I remember because it was that, that kickback at anime yeah. night. And I was like, any of you guys watch Jujutsu Kaisen yet? Y'all were like, nah. I was like, Bad, we, we catch it up today, my boy. Yeah. So I, and then finishing it now, well, the last uh, season, not the last season, literally, but I will put that because it's really good. Um, oh, obviously, okay. just fight scenes, were, they were throwing hands. Hands were being thrown. And one of those animation th- quality, bro. Boy. Boy had hands. And for me, I, like, especially this last season, the music that goes along with, like, yes. the fight scenes and everything, I liked it. It gave you, like, this good level, not of anxiety, but just, like, you're on your toes. Like, some shit's about to go down. I get and, that. It, and it was a very fast-paced, like, jazzy vibe. I was just like, oh. oh yeah. About to- yeah. So hell yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen for sure because it was just it was an easy I can't say easy watch. It was there was some times where I just I didn't want to watch it, but I just liked it overall because it just had all three. Could it be better? Most likely, yeah. But overall, I think it's all that you need if you're just watching something simple. No, I would. I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna make that my number four pick <clears throat> because artwork, animation, yeah. Like, yeah, you can tell the studio took time and put it in. They weren't trying to rush it. Uh, story, I would say the pacing, the character development, and the overall plot has been really good. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, it is a good amount of information where you really feel like you need to watch every single episode. So it's not like Dragon Ball where like the freeze fight took fucking like seventeen episodes, so like, like if you miss a week and you and you tune back in, it's like, hey, the first five minutes was recap. <laughs> so, so it's like, you feel like you need to watch every episode because if you didn't, there is gonna be something that you missed. Yeah, a character you know might have died. There was there was progression there that you may not have seen. So, um, yeah, did you just kind of said overall, I. I would say uh, definitely, definitely my number four pick. So it's back to you. Uh, you have two more picks. Mine is an honorable mention. It will be a full metal, full metal alchemist. That's an honorable mention. Not honorable, but like that's. That, I was gonna say that my best for last, but okay. I, I, it's up there. Okay, so well. number four for you is yeah. full metal alchemist, and it's it's only for that too, because like I, I could only imagine how I would have been if I watched the the original series, like the dark twists and turns. But boy, when I watched this, I think this, the last anime that ever had me, like, staying up at night to watch it was basically Naruto, like, Naruto Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. But I never caught myself. Actually, I just realized, My Hero Academia is enough here. <laughs> I know. It would have been, been on my list. But, yeah, it was, it was, it it was basically, like, Full Metal Alchemist. I caught myself, like, staying up really late at night watching it would be, like, Naruto, Attack on Titan, yep. Full Metal Alchemist, and then My Hero Academia. Okay. But Full Metal is, like, right up there because it did keep me on my toes. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. granted, there are, like, boring Shout parts. Shout out to the best dad ever, Shout Tucker. Fusion. <laughs> 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 Oh, um, but solely for yeah, it I put full medical up there as num- my number four. Number four, okay, okay. So back to me for number five. Out of everything else on this list, you know there are there are some there are some really good ones. I do like uh, Tokyo Ghoul. Some people mm-hmm. really disagree with me on that. Re Zero, uh, One Punch Man. I don't think anybody really likes One Punch Man. It's more of hey, it it plays to the stereotypes of a lot of anime, no. and which is why people like it. Uh, Hunter x Hunter is goaded to uh, Spy, Spy Family is good. Um, Dr. Stone is, is uh, goaded. Uh, honorable mentions, of course, Pokemon, Digimon, Metabox. But I would have to say on this list specifically, this list specifically, my number five pick is going to have to be Demon Slayer. Damn, that'd be my number. This is gonna be your number five. My number, number five as well. Number, see, De- Demon Slayer. It's on top there with animation. Yeah, it it is. Um, yeah, it's definitely up there with animation. 
storytelling and pacing as well, just as good. Honestly, it is is um, up there um, with Jujutsu Kaisen, and uh, overall is really really good. Um, I mean, it it's it's very funny because we live in a world now where you live with demons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. We all live with demons. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But, and these pills I eat, <laughs> these are my demon slayers. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, it's really hard to have an original idea out there because I'm not I'm not trying to discredit anybody or make make you feel like it's significant or anything. But if you've thought about a, a an idea. Like a base idea, it's probably Thought been already. written about already, right there. Like this isn't the first demon, like demon slaying anime, right? But the story that was written in this world is fucking good. It's really fucking good, and uh, I consider, I consider, um, uh. Demon Slayer are part of my, I call, I call them uh, the next big three. So uh, the original big three: Naruto, uh, Naruto, uh, One Piece, and Dragon. Mm-hmm. The, the, the OG big three. Uh, and I think the reason they were called the OG big three because they were the first three anime that like really popped off yeah, yeah. worldwide. For me, the next big three is Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer. My Hero Academia. I see that. Those three, I think, are leading the next generation of of anime watchers because they are the most talked about, but they are the most flushed out story wise. They're very, they're like it's just overall just each one. You could be very satisfied yeah. in its story and its telling and its artwork can be very entertaining and uh, you know resonate emotionally with them, with the characters and stuff. So, um, but yeah, uh, Demon Slayer number five. Um, I got other honorable mentions. Uh, shout out to Dom for Bleach. Uh, <laughs> I will finish watching Bleach. I promise. I didn't uh, catch up on Bleach. And then uh, Dalt, I'm very sorry. I will watch uh, Samurai Shampoo, even though it's only one season. <laughs> <laughs> and I never get to finish it. I feel so bad. <laughs> well, I will finish that. Um, uh, bro. And then I think he gave me Hunter Hunter to put up there as well. well Hunter Hunter is good, but it's long. Yeah, Hunter I know. It's quite long. But uh, not but, yeah. too, not like a like a one piece long, but um, but it's long. Man, I let me tell you something. There, there's another anime topic that that uh, that we want to do that uh, I sent him. He needs to fucking work on. Yeah, but my my, my but anime list isn't isn't as... that big, so. <laughs> I'm going to fucking, we're going to need to visit it in a month <laughs> so we can fucking do the topic because I have my list. My list is good and I have backups for all, for all of them. <laughs> you guys don't know the topic. You guys will find out soon. But I'm going to give you some animes that are really easy watches. Uh, maybe like 12 episodes, uh, 12 to 16 episodes a, a season. Um, some of them That's only have one season. But uh, yeah, they're really good. But. Uh yeah, if you guys, what would you pick for the five anime off of that list? Put it in the comments below. Let us know your reasons why. Also, I want to hear it. Um, but if you didn't agree with me, you're wrong. That's it. I don't care. You <laughs> you selected incorrectly. And if you have a problem, come find us at one zero two nine. He putting his social security out there, boy. <laughs> no, but let us know in the comments below. I actually really want to hear it. Uh, and if there's any anime that you suggest that we take a gander at, or uh, you want to put my boy Rod to one because I probably watched it already, let us know in the comments as well. Um, subscribe for more content and give us a thumbs up. Again, we're trying to beat the algorithm and get reach out. I say beat the algorithm at, at GI because <laughs> GI knows what's up. But this is uh, our thing, so we're just trying to increase our reach. But other than that, guys, we do appreciate you. Love you guys, though. See you guys later. Peace out.